Okay, back to a serious spinner from my last one. This is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do the Stealth Aventator. I've been waiting to do this one for a while. And I've got the nice heavy copper version of it. And that feels really nice. First impressions of this are, well, it's not, not, my, not my first impressions. I've been playing with it, so I, I know what it's about. Very nice. This is something that uh, should work out very well. Now all we need to do is get some good spin times out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and test it. I have the Stealth Aventator here. Um, one thing you notice about this is that it's uh, it feels pretty hefty. It's uh, it weighs 96 grams, which is really good, and uh, it just feels a bit kind of bulky. And that's I, I, I find that good. Um, it got an average spin time of uh, seven minutes and 28 seconds, which is not too bad couple minor problems with it. It's a little tiny bit off balance and also the, I don't know if you can see this, but the button is a little bit, uh, it's not quite tight in there in the bearing so that it's, it, it kind of wobbles a little bit. So that might have had some effect on the spin time. The spin time decreased as I went on so I think I was wearing on the bearing a little bit. Um, it got a better spin time vertically than horizontally and uh, so it did get it was variable quite a bit and that cut and cut into its score but uh, it feels really good and the coolest thing about this it's only $45 on Stealth's website so for $45 that's a really good good deal for this one and uh, I kind of like it it's it's uh, one of the ones I'm, I think I'm gonna leave this one out and play with it some more all right. Oh, by the way, it got an overall score of 8.4, which qualifies it as a superior spinner. And uh, it's right up there with the best of them. Not very many get scores that high.